1931, Michael Piasecki opened the first Piasecki funeral home right here in Kenosha on 7th Avenue. And then in the 1950s, Michael's son, Michael, and his wife, Nancy, began operating the funeral home. So in 1984, after Michael's untimely death, Nancy made the decision to carry on the Piasecki legacy. And most recently, I joined Nancy as a partner, and together with our amazing team, we continue to create unique and memorable experiences for the families that we serve. They come to us at the worst time in their life, and we try to turn that around and make it a celebration of their loved one's life. This is our arrangement room. For some folks, it can be very intimidating, but we want to let you know that we're here to help you and your family. Your wishes and your loved one is our main concern. So in this room, we'll go over the obituary. We'll talk about your loved one's life history. If your loved one was a veteran, what we need is a DD-214, which is the form that states that they were honorably discharged from the military. And then we will make our contacts with usually the Union Grove Veterans Cemetery and we will have uh, a military honors for him either here at the cemetery or at the church, whatever works for you and your family. The biggest thing I tell people is that there is no standard you have to follow. Um, we can really do anything with you know, any preference that you have or any ideas you want to you know, go in on. You get the exact same service you would get from a traditional burial service with the option of having a cremation. There's also the option of not having a viewing or a private viewing for just family. So they have the opportunity to spend some time with their loved one before a cremation would take place. Um, so lots of options. So this is our chapel. You have the option of using the entire space, which would accommodate you know, any size group of people, small or large, whatever you'd like. Or there is the option of dividing the chapel with a partition for a more intimate space. What we would do with flowers and picture boards and any personalization item is uh, we would you know, arrange them in a way that you know, your guests can view them. Um, it spreads across the room. Uh, to create a personalized space where you walk in and you smile knowing that it reflects your loved one and their life. So this is our four and a half month old black Labrador retriever therapy dog in training, Millie. Uh, she joined our staff and we decided that this would be a good idea for our funeral home. Call her a therapy dog, call her a comfort dog, whatever you might want to call her. We want people to smile when they come through the doors. And when they come through the doors and they see Millie there, they can't help but smile. Um, animals provide um, the touch that humans can't. Uh, she provides comfort to people, she provides distraction from what they might be feeling at the moment and just provides them with a little bit of relief. We've had motorcycles here in the funeral home, we've had processions that have actually turned into parades, we've had unique types of music, uh, singers. What that does is that allows people to come into the funeral home and instead of being stressed, instead of being anxious, they take a look in the funeral home and they smile. They look at us and think, wow, you're normal people. You're normal people helping us at this terrible time in our life. And that's what I want people to do. When they arrive here at the funeral home, I want them to smile. I want them to feel like this is home and that they're welcome here.